So we've just unlocked platinum launchers and in today's video I'm going to show you how to level the guns, how to get them gold and how to get them platinum as well. All those things are cut into three stages. This video is nice and simple. My name is Gabba. It's a dedicated Call of Duty channel so if you enjoy that kind of thing maybe stick around by subscribing and of course drop a like on this video if it's helped you at all. Let's get right into the video. So here are the launchers looking sexy and platinum, but of course enough showing off, let's show you guys how to actually level the weapons, get them gold and get them platinum. This video is split into three, so use the timestamps in the description if you wish to skip around, but let's start off with the leveling of the weapons. So on screen you're going to see the four launchers for themselves. Each of them have a different method in which to level the weapon up as quick as you can. Something they all share is ground war. Capping flags while holding the weapon will help you get weapon XP to level the weapon nice and easy without even actually having to use it which is a great technique for things like the riot shield and knives, things you may not be so interested in using but you still want to level. So this affects all of the weapons, just make sure you're holding it while capping flags inside ground wall. Next up, something they all share is also kill confirmed, a fantastic method in which to level any weapon, but something you should be doing is using the perk fast hands. So use fast hands and swap to the launcher of choice when picking up the tags. Nice and easy, get a kill with a regular weapon and swap to the launcher. Super easy way to level up weapons. If you pair this with a shotgun or an SMG, you can get right up close and personal, damage the enemy and quickly swap to the launcher and pick up a tag, nice and easy. Also you'll find on the game mode Invasion, I love that in Call of Duty there's lots of different game modes to level up anything you want and Invasion is a nice way to level up most weapons, however, at the back of the map you're going to see helicopters land with lots of bots inside. Aim your launcher at these. These are really potent. You can get lots and lots of kills from these. If you're fortunate, you might even hit one of the bots sitting on the outside of the helicopter. That can get you lots of XP because of the splash damage. But otherwise, just smash the helicopter nice and easy. They regularly land. There's two on the map at any time, and they land 45 seconds apart. This works for all of the launchers. Here's a super broken method in which to level just the pillar. The pillar arrives inside the cooperative game mode called Denied Area. If you were to be the medic and revive your teammate as he goes out of bounds and then out of bounds again and again and again while holding this pillar which is located inside this munitions area inside the Denied Area. Go there, revive your teammate multiple times, you'll be reviving, reviving, reviving and you end up leveling that particular weapon. It's also super useful to level up other weapons you may be holding like the shotguns or the pistol or the EBR, but the pillar is located just here. Right, now we're getting into something a bit different. These are things that only work for the pillar and the joker because they lock on. Of course, if you're gonna shoot down UAVs, the best place to do this is actually in ground war. There's loads and loads of UAVs. In my honest opinion, with the pillar, wait five seconds before you shoot it down because if they get a UAV, you know what, their teammates may also get another UAV. You kind of want to balance it between giving them a chance to get more UAVs. So wait five seconds, shoot it down. If you're noticing other people are shooting before you, scrap that and go straight for the hand, go straight to kill it down. With the Joker, this also locks onto enemy UAVs, counter UAVs a lot. It's just a lot, lot slower. But there are certainly lots of things in the sky for you to shoot down. Playing ground war, shooting up at the sky, hanging around your own resupply areas. This is the best way to get lots of ammunition and shoot lots of things down. Now don't be afraid to try and shoot down counter UAVs with the Strela and the RPG. Both of these require a little bit of aiming and here's how you do it on screen. I've put them side by side, the Strela on the left and the RPG on the right. Don't be afraid to aim for the counter UAVs, you can do it. With the Joker, by far my most favourite thing to do in the whole of this game is stand at the back of the big helicopter and look down on the snipers. Using the Joker, you can absolutely smash up multiple teams with just one bullet. I absolutely love this weapon and I think it's a really useful thing to have in the ground war. Just look down on the snipers, take out lots of people, take out lots of equipment, resupply, it takes out all of their uh, attack inserts and their ammo boxes. It works a treat. I absolutely love doing this. Something I forgot to mention inside Kill Confirmed is to use the decoys. Use the decoy grenades all over the shop because anyone that gets killed near them, you get weapon XP if you're holding that weapon, of course. And last my great way to level up weapons in this game is on domination covering the b flag just being near the b flag and able to shoot the b flag at any second the second it starts getting capped shoot the launcher at the b flag because you'll get lots of xp for getting a defender medal if you've actually just 
kill people that are capping your flag, you get way more XP. Uh, this works for all of them except for the Joker. Naturally, the Joker is virtually impossible to do, unless you punch them with it, that's possible. But the Pillar, the Strella, and the RPG, just chill by the flag, shoot it, absolutely fantastic. This works amazing for the RPG. Right, next up, let's talk about how to get these things gold. There are two challenges you need to worry about. There's 40 kills, and then there's two kills without dying five times. For some reason, the Joker requires two kills without dying ten times. I'm not sure why they decided to change it and split it up, but it is what it is. So here's a quick screenshot. Don't worry, there'll be a larger screenshot at the end of the video, which is perfect for you to follow later on if you forget some of these little tips. But let's start off with what these four weapons all share, and that is how to get kills. So, in Ground War, you want to use the Overclock perk for loads of loads of ammunition. That lets you get ammo boxes more regularly, allowing you to look out the window, shoot things down, shoot at people constantly. You need lots of ammunition. You can carry two uh, rockets at a time and then a third one inside the rocket as well The more you shoot the more you score they say this is not really possible inside regular 6 v 6 But in ground war and in invasion you get lots of kills inside there I would avoid invasion however due to the bots the bots do not count as kills towards getting gold weapons They do however count as XP, but they don't count towards these gold challenges So on my advice would play ground war for each of the launchers Again, you want to be using the Fast Hands perk. This is for faster reload, faster swapping. Everything is absolutely fantastic. As soon as you start using Fast Hands, it is like a little addictive. It's amazing. I love using it. Next up, spawn inside the large helicopter in Ground War. Whatever you can, whenever you spawn, make sure you choose the big helicopter. Even if you need to pilot it, even if you need to throw a drill charge at the ground just to respawn a little bit closer towards it, you've got to do it. The big helicopter is a hive for kills with these launches. Just looking at the back, straight down, boom, there we go. Go. Be careful of the side windows, you may end up shooting the propellers, but if you stand at the back of the helicopter, you have no excuse but to shoot down at loads of campers, it's absolutely awesome for kills. A quick tip while playing 6 versus 6 is aim for the ground. You've got to hit walls and grounds very, very close to people. The pillar is really forgiving, as is the RPG, but the Strela, you pretty much need to hit them. You don't actually have to. The splash damage is tiny, but the kill radius is even smaller. So you just aim for the floor or aim for the flag that they're capping. You'll take them out with no problem. During my testing, I decided to try using the inflatable decoy as uh, kind of something to put people off. It did work a little bit. It's a bit of fun, but I wouldn't say it's better than using an ammo box. But if you've got full ammo, why not try putting an inflatable in the corner let someone run into the room and then you just destroy them giving you chance to aim down sight the problem with the launches is how slow they ADS giving you no chance to quickly react but if they run into a room and see an inflatable decoy boom away you go this works for the pillar the strella and the RPG just not for the Joker another thing these three launches share is playing domination hide near your own flags this is a horrible strategy but it works I'm uh, it just works. If you're hanging around by your own flag, wait for someone to cap it, look outside, boom, shoot, there we go. Use the overclock perk for more ammunition boxes. You need as much ammunition as you can. Just shoot down at your own flag. It's pretty much just waiting around and being patient. Somebody will come and cap your B flag eventually. Here's some tips for the Joker. The best map to play is Ground War Tarok. I think it's called Tarak. You want to be aiming out the back of the helicopter once again, aiming down on the sea flag. There's always people here. You do not want to cap it. You basically want people to spawn on it and you keep shooting it and shooting it. It is fantastic. Every time you run out of ammunition, dive out the window, respawn and do it again. It's really, really easy. Another area is this little dome on the right hand side or left, depending where you're spawning. There's always players over there. There's lots of snipers that think they're really good. Just aim over there as well. You get lots and lots of double kills, in fact, in this area. So make sure you're aiming in those directions. The Joker is, this is the best map for the Joker. By a long shot, is this Tarok map on Ground War. I love it. And to finish off the weapons is to get them platinum. And these challenges are very situational. So let me tell you how to get into the situation where you can destroy as much as you can with these weapons. They range from 10 destroys up to 25 destroys, and these are enemy equipment, enemy streaks, and enemy vehicles. I found enemy vehicles being one of the easiest things to destroy, and the enemy UAVs, counter UAVs, being very, very easy for the Pillar and the Joker. So let's start off with my tips for all of the weapons. How do you get as many of these done as quick as possible? Did you know that if you punch a tank while it's dying, it can count towards getting this challenge? done I'm serious something they all share is destroying vehicles naturally and if you see a vehicle that you've disabled it will soon blow up but make sure you have done the last bit of damage to it in this case I just punched it this made sure I was the last person who shot something at it if a teammate also shoots it you just get the assist which doesn't count you're supposed to destroy the vehicles yourself tanks take a lot of bullets so take three to destroy you haven't got that much in your pocket 
So shoot it twice, three times, whatever, and then punch it to ensure you are the last person to deal the damage with that weapon. Six versus six playing headquarters or domination with a spotter perk is really, really easy. It's easy pickings. You run around the map and you're going to see things to destroy. You can punch them and it still counts, of course, and this works really well with the Joker. Even the Joker can punch a trophy system for example really really easy just give it a smack and you're done so all four of the launchers can destroy counter uavs counter uavs are very easy to destroy and i know that more and more people understand how it's done now and they're doing it with their smg for example so you've got to be quick and you've got to be outside if you've just done this and you just heard it come in look up at the sky and really be quick about it especially if you're using the joker that is very difficult to be early enough in which to take it down the pillar easy the rpg and strella however on screen another way to do it you've got to aim up and this is how you kill it with the rpg you'll notice there's a little bit of variance and a bit of rng are you going to hit it or not just a bit of luck but with the strella it's pretty exact and this is exactly how i took out the counter uavs just aim slightly above it but one thing they can't all do is the uavs the pillar the strella and the joker of course all can aim at uavs and very successfully tank down your UAVs. The Strela, you're thinking, how? How can you take down a UAV with a Strela? Here you go. The Strela requires 25, don't forget. So don't be afraid to respawn, look up at the sky, and take a pop at it. Here's how I did it. I'll tell you in slow motion. Just roughly aim. You see the line? You, you don't want to have the UAV inside that line on the left here. That's what I'm talking about. Aim slightly above it. You see there's lots of bullet drop with the Strela. But when it comes to the RPG, don't even bother aiming for UAVs. Literally don't. Just save your ammunition. But of course, with the spotter perk, my most successful way to destroy pieces of equipment was actually flying very low with a helicopter, trying to find enemies. If you find a whole pile of enemies inside ground war, you will know that one of them at least will be putting down pieces of equipment. Just jump out of the helicopter onto the roof, looking down, and eventually you will discover pieces of equipment. Once you get close enough to an enemy flag, of course, just wait around and look down. You are going to be on their roof looking down and seeing pieces of equipment go down. You're going to see enemies place down trophy systems, place down ammunition boxes, even tack inserts. Those types of things are going to be thrown down on an enemy flag. So why not land there, wait there, and you will see it happen. This is the fastest way I had things done. And this works for all of the equipment. As long as you can get close enough to punch it, that counts. So there are my tips. My name's Gabba. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like if something's helped you. Please comment down below the word launcher and I'll be ensured to reply. I reply to every single comment on every single video. So take a screenshot. I hope this video really helps you out. You take it easy. Share with a friend if it has. Take it easy.